Hi, Mark here. This video is all about practicing. Based on 40 years of personal experience and deep research in the science that drives how we practice, I'm sure that if you follow the points that are following, that are coming in a second, you will see a marked improvement in your performance and your playing over the next few months. Warming up. Every musician, a vocalist, instrumentalist, needs to warm up before they start practicing. A vocalist needs to warm up their voice, an instrumentalist needs to warm up their hands and their arm, in exactly the same way as an athlete warms up before they take part in any sport activity. Working with the metronome. From the moment you start practicing, including your warm up, you should be working with the metronome. The metronome is your best, best friend. The metronome tempo, BPM, beats per minute, should be anywhere between 60 to 72. The slower you work, opposite the metronome, the more and the quicker you will learn and retain information. Physical technique. Every musician has different stuff they need to be focusing on regarding their physical technique. I think that's pretty obvious. What's less obvious is what are those things I need to be practicing. A vocalist, it could be breathing and stuff like that. A guitar player, fingering, the same for piano player. So reach out to your teacher, check online, discuss it with a pro. You're welcome to reach out to me. But the most important thing is to understand what those things are you should be practicing on a regular, daily basis regarding your physical technique. Okay, here's the next point, and this is a point that most people don't seem to recognize. Much better to do a little bit of all your exercises every day than to focus on one or two exercises ignoring the other stuff. Now here's another massive secret that many musicians don't seem to recognize. You don't have to do all your daily practicing in one sitting. Some of it you can do when you've got half an hour free in the morning. Some you can do in the 20 minutes you have after lunch. The rest you can do after you finish dinner. Whenever you have free time during the day, that's good. As long as it's within one 24 hour period, you've covered your practicing, you're moving forward, you're gonna be a winner. If you want to know more about the science that's driving these points, please check out our video on why this is the most efficient way to practice for our minds and for our bodies. Wishing you only good stuff and let the music lead. Oh,